I am now ready to work on Excel Module 1, SAM Project A. Here in the instructions, I say Project 1A. It's the new era medical worksheets, what we're working on. Make sure your name shows in B6. If it doesn't, reload the Excel document. Make sure it has your name on here. First thing we're going to do from this point is we're going to enable editing. And then we are going to do a save as to change the name. I'm going to browse. I want to make sure I put it in the correct location. I have a file on my desktop for Excel Fall 2020, whichever semester you're working on. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change this one to a two and save. So we've been asked to uh, make some changes on this worksheet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the budget summary. And we're going to cut the worksheet title from cell I1. So I can go here to I1, select that cell. I'm going to just hit Control X, which is going to cut it. And I'm going to paste it in cell A1. So now I'm going to Control V, paste. You could also use the buttons up here in the clipboard area on the home tab. In cell E2, so E2, we're going to add the text number of so that the complete text appears as number of salespeople. So I'm just going to double click at the front of this cell and add number of and you also want to make sure you watch the capitalization of your text make sure you enter in the correct spelling for your entries in excel In D4, so right here in D4, we want to add quarter three. And in C4, we want to add quarter two. In G five we're going to enter a formula without a function that subtracts the target revenue from the year to date revenue to determine how much revenue the field office needs to earn in quarter four so really the we're going to take cell f5 from e5 so remember we need to Put in the equal sign because we're entering a formula and we want to subtract F5 from E5. So we're going to click in E5 first and then minus, which is the subtract, F5. And then we're going to hit enter. This lets us know we have a difference in our target amount. For step five in the instructions, we want to calculate the gross margin for quarters one, two, three, and the year to date. So we're going to go to B7. And we want to divide the gross profit from quarter one by the revenue in quarter one. So we're going to say equals. B6 divided by, which is your forward slash. Sorry, I want to make, I did not hit the right number. So let's start this over. We're going to equals B6 divided by, which is your slash, B5, enter. 
then we're going to fill the range, take the formula in B7, move our mouse over the fill handle. We want our cursor to look like that skinny plus sign. Then we're just going to drag it down to E7. So we can see what our gross margin is. Now we're ready for number six. We want to sum the cells for each Pennsylvania region for the year to date. So we're going to go to cell E10. And we want to add B10 through D10. So we can come up here to our auto sum, click on the sum, make sure that we're adding B10 to D10, and then you can hit the enter key or this check mark up here by the formula bar. We're going to use our fill handle to copy the formula in E10 to E13. Now we're going to go to cell F10. And we're going to enter the value 925000 and then enter so we have the targeted amount for the Northeast region. We're now ready for number nine. Number eight, sorry, number eight. We want to determine how much re revenue each region needs to generate to meet its target. So we're going to put an equal sign here. And we want to subtract the target cells from the year to date cells. So we're going to take the year to date cells first minus the target cells. It's going to be E10 minus F10. That lets us know that we're off. We need to enter some more cells. Then we're going to copy what we did in G10 and we're going to copy that down to G14. So only go down to G14. Now Josh is also interested in how much revenue each of the 12 salespeople generates on average in each quarter and the year to date. So to find that information, we're going to go to cell B15. to include a formula without a function that divides the total regional cells in the quarter by the number of salespeople, G2. So we already have a reference to G2 in the cell right here. We can look up here in our formula bar and see it's an absolute value, so it's always going to refer back to G2. It's got the dollar signs in front of it. That means when we copy it, it's always going to refer to G2. G2 right here. We want to leave this reference in here, but what we're going to do is we're going to divide the total regional cells by the number of salespeople. So we're going to put our insertion point right after the equal sign, and we're going to type in B14, and then we're going to use the division, which is the forward slash. And then we can just hit the check mark or enter to find out our revenue per person. Then we're going to take this formula from B15 and we're going to copy it down to E15. That's going to show us the revenue each of our salesperson has made. Okay, we also need to calculate our operating margin. So we're going to go down to B20. And we're going to enter a formula that divides the operating profit by the revenue. First thing is we need to enter that equal sign. 
and we want to divide the operating profit. So right here in B19, divide that by B5, by the revenue. And that's going to give us our operating margin. Then we're going to use that formula in B20, and we're going to copy that down to E20. He also wants to create a visual for the data. And to do that, we need to create a 2D pie chart based on non-adjacent ranges. The, the ranges don't touch each other. So to do that, we need to select one range and then another range. So to do that, we're going to select the first range, A9 to A13. So I'm going to come up here to A9. And with my mouse we're looking like that white fat plus sign, I'm going to scroll down to A13. To separate, to now to select the next range, I'm going to hold down on the control key. And in one move, I'm going to select E9 through E13. So I'm going to come up here to E9, hold the mouse down, and go down to E13. You need to make sure you select that E9 to E13 in one motion. Now I'm going to come up here to insert, and I want the charts, and I want a 2D pie chart. I'm going to change my chart title. I just need to select the chart title. Now I'm going to change that to total year to date. Sales by region. Now, what I did was I just clicked to select the title as I typed in. It typed it up here on my formula bar. When I hit enter, it's going to enter it down here in the title. I'm going to remove, I'm going to resize and reposition the chart. So the upper left corner, right over up here in the upper left side, is lined up in I4, and its bottom is in L18. So I'm just going to move my mouse to the edge of it to where I have my four-headed arrow, and I'm going to move this up to I4. And I want this bottom corner to be aligned with L18, so I'm going to make my mouse over in the lower right-hand corner and I'm going to click and drag to L18. Let go. I want to apply style three to the chart. So up here, you need to make sure you have your chart selected up in chart design, and you want to select style three. And now I just want to hide the grid lines. I want this to look like just a white piece of paper. So to do that, I'm going to go to View, and then deselect the grid lines. Oh, I need to first make sure you click off of the chart. And now I can turn the grid lines off. You can check your chart against the picture in your instructions. I'm going to come up here and hit the Save button. I'm going to close Excel. I'm going to come back to Blackboard, hit Continue. I'm going to upload this file to see how I did. So once my box comes up, I don't know why it's not working. Here we go, try again. Here we go. I want my, make sure I'm entering the correct file. 
I'm in Excel Fall 2020, which is the semester I'm completing this in. You might have a different name for yours. And I went to EX19 1A in the open. And I've got my little green check mark that says I've got the right name. Hit submit. Now I can view my report. And got 100 out of 100. If yours is different, look down here in the your report and make changes, resave it, and resubmit it. Now we're ready for the next assignment.